Hello beautiful people, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna talk about YouTubers and if they plays on Noob Lobby. Well, if we talk about PUBG Mobile YouTubers, then there are two types of categories. One is tips and tricks content creators, and second is game plays content creators. In gameplay creators, there are two types of creators, one who plays solo versus squad, and the other doesn't plays alone. So we have to make sure of whom we are talking about. A lot of viewers do comments on videos of both categories of content creators that he or she is playing on Noob Lobby. But do they comment with all the proofs? Obviously not. Anyways, so in this video, I'm going to expose some facts about PUBG Mobile content creators. But before that, make sure you leave a like in order to boost this video's algorithm. Anyway, I made this video with all my guts, and I am sure that most of my viewers wanted this video and a hot topic like this. Anyways, first things first, we gonna divide this video into two categories. One is tips and tricks makers, and second is obviously gameplays makers. I will pick the gameplay content creators first, in order to clear the doubts. Point 1. If we talk about the tier, and either the lobby is noob or a pro, then obviously the lobby in which they play, is not at all a conqueror lobby. That's because their own tier is not above crown. The reason behind not pushing the rank is obvious, that they won't be able to get more than 15 kills in conqueror lobbies. Most of the gameplay content creators stays on diamond, in order to get 20 plus kills for their content. Every YouTuber needs content, so there is nothing wrong with that. Getting 20 plus kills is possible till crown. In Ace and Conquer, the chances is still there, but you won't, gonna be lucky all the time. Point 2. Many viewers also notices in the gameplay videos that the opponents doesn't makes much moves and dies easily. Now let me solve this doubt for you. Suppose you are playing, and suddenly a squad rushed at you, and you are not even ready that time, then what will you do? Of course you will be panic, right? So this is what happens with those opponents as well in the videos. YouTubers mostly plays on full aggressive mode, and once a player went into such rhythm, then obviously he gonna make the opponents look like noobs. Because they don't let their opposition make their moves, in fact, those YouTubers does not gives their opponents much time to think about their next move. Anyways, point 3. You may have seen or watched so many gameplays on YouTube, and you might be addicted to the videos of some content creators as well. But have you ever wondered, how do they get 25 plus kills in every video they uploads? Well, this happens because they do play uncountable matches per day in order to get a successful gameplay of 25 plus kills. So in this scenario, they do not try to get noob lobby. But sometimes they do get lobby with bunch of noobs, but that's not because they specially try to get that. There is no trick to get noob lobby after the last few updates. But the matchmaking system automatically provides them with a low tier lobby. In fact, it happens with every other players too, every PUBG mobile players do get noob lobbies sometimes by the matchmaking system. And now, let's talk about tips and tricks content creators. I am also in this category, so I will try not to be biased. Anyways, point 1. The fact about tips and tricks content creators is that most of them makes their tips in a room match. And if you have been watching me from the start, then you may have seen that I make tips and tricks videos in my classic matches. So the question is again the same, do they also play in a noob lobby or a low tier lobby? Well, the answer is clearly no. Because tips and tricks creators always tries to push their rank, not to the conqueror, but at least to lace. And the players who stays below crown has a chance of getting noob lobbies. But a player who is in ace will surely gonna match with conquerors because PUBG is high on weeds sometime. They match ace players with conquerors, and this leave no choice for us but to play, and most of the time we end up getting low kills. Point 2. This is last point about tips and tricks creators, that they does not need to play on noob lobbies, because their content is not based on their game plays. But their content is based on tips, so a tips and tricks makers works hard in getting more experience, in order to make tips. And of course we get a lot of experience, by playing on a high tier lobby. So either a PUBG mobile YouTuber plays on noob lobby or a pro lobby, it doesn't matter. What matter is that all the content creators works really hard just to entertain all of you daily. At the end of the day, a content creator is just an entertainer. Alright guys, if you are watching till here then make sure you do not comment anything wrong in any videos, whether it's gaming or any other. Try to spread as much positivity as you can. So that's it for today, make sure you leave a like and also subscribe if you are new. Now watch my potato gameplay.
peace. Awesome. Let's go. I'ma do this thing my way. Let's go. Been grinding hard on it all day. Okay. We work hard, then we all play. Yeah. I'm addicted to the grind, man. That's right. So I refuse to waste time, man. Yeah. One day it all will be fine, man. Let's go. Gotta commit to the grind.